Hi everyone, it's Enea here and today I'm going to step out of my comfort zone because I'm going to be making a floral card. I love seeing floral cards but I find them hard to make, I don't know why. So this is going to be my first video of a floral card. I'm going to be using only one stamp set this time. It's called Floral Bouquet and it's from Avery L. I decided that I'm going to heat emboss the flowers so I'm using my powder tool so the embossing powder sticks only to my stamped images and not to the rest of my cardstock. So I'm stamping the flowers with Versamark ink and I'm using my Misty to stamp all the images of the set at once because I'm not sure about which ones I'm going to use on my final design. Also, I love to be able to stamp them twice because with clear ink it's hard to see if the images are stamped correctly. So now I'm applying some white embossing powder to my panel, making sure it covers all the flowers and little elements, and then I'm going to melt it using my heat tool. I keep moving my tool all the time to avoid burning the cardstock, and I also apply heat to the back of the images to minimize wrapping. I'm going to do my coloring using six clean color real brush markers and I'm going to be using only a bunch of them because they are watercolor markers and they blend really well together so I can create different shades with only one marker. I'm not using watercolor paper, this is Bristol smooth paper and I really like how it works with these markers. I'm not adding a lot of water either, so this paper will work perfectly for this technique. I'm using these two individual flowers for testing and then I'm gonna be following the same process on all flowers. First, I color the center of each flower with my orange marker. Next, I use my yellow marker to push the orange ink from the center and then I use it to color the borders of the flower. Because I've been touching the orange ink with the yellow marker, it has picked some of that orange ink and the borders will look like a light orange. Then I'm just using a fine tip brush with a little water to blend the colors together. I keep some kitchen paper by my side to clean and remove the excess water from the brush. more depth to the floral bouquet, I'm using my orange marker to color some dark areas. If a flower is on top of another, we can imagine that it's projecting some kind of shadow over it, so that should be a darker area. This is a great little tip to achieve a more 3D look instead of having a flat group of flowers.
to color the leaves, I'm using two different green markers. And again, I use the darker one to create shadows. Then I push the ink towards the edge with a brush and some water. I love the embossing resistant neck. The white lines are super pretty surrounded by color, but some elements like stems are hard to see. So I decided to go with my soft green marker around all these stems and berries and then soften it with some water. This way you can see all the little elements and I love how this little amount of color makes them pop. So now that I've finished all the coloring and the images are completely dry, I can go ahead and use the coordinating floral bouquet dies and my cutting machine to cut out all these floral elements. For the background, I've die cut this panel from the same Bristol cardstock with a dotted rectangle die and to add some color I'm gonna be using my SIG markers again. So here I have a blue and a green markers and I'm scribbling them onto my piece of cardstock and then I'm using a water brush to blend the colors together to get this watercolor effect. Then I'm using my acrylic block to sprinkle some ink and water on top. I wanted to keep this very soft and simple because the flowers have very bright colors and I wanted them to be the star of the show. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a sentiment to my card. I've chosen the word hacks because it's perfect for multiple occasions. I'm heat embossing it using a piece of grey cardstock and white embossing powder to keep the soft look of my card. So now it's time to attach all of our elements onto the card. I'm using the tape runner to other the panel to a white card base and I'm gonna use foam adhesive and liquid glue to add the flowers and other little elements and give some dimension to my card. To finish off the card, I'm gonna take my Nubo Tigwell Drops in Key Lime and this is one of my favorite colors from the Nubo Drops and I'm going to add some drops here and there to the background. Then I'm gonna take my Pico Embellishment in white and add little dots on the center of all the flowers. This will pick up some of the color and it will dry in different shades of yellow and orange. I discovered this by mistake, but I'm very happy I did because I really like this effect. And that's going to complete our floral card. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, here I have two more videos that you may like. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Until next time, 